In today's Wisdom Wednesday, we're going to talk a little bit about this book, Spark, The Revolutionary New Exercise of Exercise and the Brain. And today we're going to cover uh, exercise and anxiety. And so in 2004, the University of Southern Mississippi took 54 college age uh, students with generalized anxiety disorder and they split them up into two groups. And the first group got uh, a walking regimen and the next group got a vigorous exercise regimen that really got their heart rates up. And they found that although both of those groups uh, decreased uh, generalized anxiety disorder, the ones that did the vigorous activity, uh, they were it worked more quickly and more effectively. They were less afraid of the physical symptoms of the anxiety. So overall, it really decreased anxiety. Um, and we found that in physical activity, uh, we decrease resting tension of muscles and that actually interrupts the anxiety feedback loop to the brain. So if the body is calm, the brain is less likely to worry. So in a uh, little excerpt from this book, uh, exercise also produces calming chemical changes. As our muscles begin working, the body breaks down fat molecules to fuel them, liberating fatty acids in the bloodstream. Some of those fatty acids are our little friend serotonin, and serotonin helps us make us feel happy and uh, at ease and fulfilled in life. And coming up next, we're also going to learn that 90% of your serotonin uh, that affects your brain is actually made where else but your gut. So we have to also have a healthy gut with exercise to produce all that serotonin that makes us feel happy and healthy uh, in our mental state.